Claude Sonnet 3.7 is out. And if that feels like nothing, it shouldn't because it's the biggest update to building tools that I've seen this year. I got early access to it. Here are my initial impressions. First, I wanna talk about the difference between benchmarking and real work. One of the ways I see 3.7 shining is that it's really useful for real building work. Specifically, it is better at inferring intent from a short prompt than 3.5 was, and it is better at presenting polish. And so I gave it a sample prompt. In my case, uh, I've been working on playing Monopoly with my kids, and I was like, hey, I want to see if I can code up a little widget that correctly estimates the property value of a particular monopoly property given different scenarios, like if someone owns two properties versus one, etc. I gave a very short prompt to 3.7. It gave me one shot response that was completely correct and coded up the widget. And that means it had to think through and infer all of my intent about how I think Monopoly uh, should be optim optimally valued. What are the different variants? What is the correct way to value it? And it had good rationale for all of that and was able to present it in a way that was easy and intuitive. Now that's just a dumb little Monopoly problem. But the point is examples like that show the capability of the model at inferring and then bridging from an inference of your intent to presentability, to what is easy to present and show to others. As I worked on it in the early access period, I had several other instances where I was able to one-shot code something that was immediately presentable, where in the past with 3.5, when I did the same prompt, it wasn't immediately presentable, and it took several shots to actually refine the intent and get it to really present in, in a way that the artifact was something I could work with. 3.7 also has other updates. So it's going to be available at the command line where you can actually use your command line and just invoke Claude and have Claude work on a task for you in the background on your computer from a coding perspective. It's also available in Cursor. So if you're using Cursor as a development environment, it's already there. You can use it. And I'm not kidding when I say that I think this is the most significant update I've seen this year from a coding perspective. The Anthropic team has figured out some magic with coding. They did it with 3.5. 3.5 remained a popular choice for developers for, I want to say, nine or 10 months after it came out, despite all the releases that came since. And now they've done it again with 3.7. It's an absolutely extraordinary model upgrade. Uh, absolutely, you should check it out. And I think what's interesting is if you aren't actually used to coding, it is also going to help you because it is better at inferring intent, which is what I talked about at the top when I talked about sort of inferring my intent with the Monopoly widget. At the end of the day, it is better at understanding the technical implications of a human language statement than 3.5 was, which means it produces results that are more in line with what you are looking for most of the time. So I've been really impressed with it. It's obviously still really early days. I enjoyed getting early access to it. I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, I think it's going to be a real help to builders. Cheers.